Plant Fam. The Plant Fam. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is David. This is Jacqueline. This is not our jungle. This is Jacqueline's car, and I'm driving. <laughs> so it's a little it's weird. a little mixed up today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my car is like, you know, almost officially back on the road. It's close. Well, I mean, we're driving it. Yeah, yeah. I can drive it now. Yeah. But I still don't have like everything finalized. But that's not the point. The point is we were <laughs> out running a few errands. Um, he's driving just because I'm like a little under the weather today. And driving drains my spoons on top of like everything else I have to do. So appreciate you boo mm -hmm. um and we just happened to be in newington and i was like you know what <laughs> we should stop at lowe's yeah so we're at the lowe's in newington even though it's usually trash um we haven't been here in like a month so like maybe just maybe there's at least different trash plants than the last time we were here <laughs> it's really really setting this video up for success <laughs> right now so Let's go see what they have. Let's go see what they have. <sighs> I know. Now you got me uh, distracted. I'm just thinking about chicken now. <laughs> this is a chicken. No, this is a sunflower. I try so hard not to film random people. It's very difficult sometimes. Okay. Lowe's. Some aglionema. Um some really depressing looking peace lilies here. These Wick and Grow containers are $15.98. We do have a couple of pretty decent looking Aglionema hiding in here for the same price. Ferns, I think they call these hurricane ferns. Some Diefenbachia. I see some fiddle leaf figs, which I don't actually recommend putting in a self-watering pot, but you do you, boo-boo. Um, these look really sad. I guess this is what happens when they're not in self-watering in Home Depot, though, or Lowe's, wherever the hell we are. Um, let's see what's back here. Some really sad looking bromeliads. So, like, don't tell, don't tell me I didn't warn you that this was going to be bad. This is, like, the worst, probably one of the worst Lowe's when it comes to plant inventory. These little synapses are cute though for $16.98. They have a little heart leaf. Not sure how I feel about this pot though. It kind of looks like um, wax, like dripping hot wax. Let me know in the comments below if you like this pot or not. I'm not sure how I feel about it. This pothos is really pretty though. Big leaves. Um, these bromeliads are $12.98. These poor Calathea just need to be watered. It looks like they did water them recently because they're pretty heavy. But it was likely um, just a little bit too late. $25.98. Hey, baby, you want to do me a favor? Thank you. Um, I need to clean. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, gotta give him something to do instead of just sitting there. <laughs> ZZ Ravens down here looking really sad. Some Syndapsis Shrubii. Moonlights, some of them look okay. Some of these look like they're live trends. Um, these ones are Costa Farms. This one's got new growth. New growth is definitely always a good sign if you can find one that has new growth is a good option. They have these anthurium. They don't have any of the dark ones. So I'm glad I snagged one when I found one. Thank you to everybody who helped me <laughs> make that decision because sometimes when I'm by myself plant shopping, I, I can't make decisions. This is actually a cute little philodendron Brazil hanging basket for $16.98. I see another hanging basket of um, this Maranta over here, which is pretty cute from Urban Jungle. I don't know how much it is. I'll have to go to the other side there. Um, just some hanging pothos for $26.98. These make really great gifts in these like hanging planters because they don't have to do anything. They just hang it up. 
Um, this knife in Bakia needs some love. It's like flopping over. It's in an interesting container. Very um, decorative. It looks like something you'd see at like a Chinese restaurant. I feel bad for it. That's sad. It's a pretty cute one. Um, Baltic blue right here that I missed. It's got bird poo all over it, or is that mealybugs? Those look like, oh no, that's mealybugs. Yeah, there's mealies everywhere. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll have to get one with bleach though eventually. I just need to clean the kitchen. Um, doo doo doo, Calathea Musaica down here. I don't know anybody that actually has this plant. If you have this plant, let me know. Um, it seems like it's usually healthier, so I'm assuming it's like a little bit easy care compared to other Calathea, but I don't actually know because I've never had one. It doesn't really excite me. I wish that like the variegation on it was like more, or the patterning on it was like more pronounced, like more contrasting, then I would probably get more excited about it if that makes sense. Um, more trending tropicals over here. They have these little like orchid starters that look really sad. Um, what the hell is that? It's like rocks. We have a cute little bonsai over here. Looks like some sort of ficus for $13.98. I just like these pots. If I can find a plant in that pot that I look <clears throat> that I would want, excuse me, then um, I wouldn't be mad about it. This Adamsonii, all these trending tropicals are 1998. In case you didn't know, over here we have this cute little Syngonium. I don't know how much. 1398. Mm, some more lemon meringue. Some succulents. And then over here we have some live trends. Looks like they kind of just shoved everything on here though. So there's a mix of stuff. Got some Haworthia over here for $9.98. Some aloe plants. More lemon meringue. This one looks like uh, global green though. Some pink syndapsis, peperomia. I see a heart leaf philodendron hiding in here. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Um, yeah, same stuff. Some more um, sad looking bonsais over here. A lot of the same stuff. Got a whole rack of Raphidophora hayi. Some Dracaena. These cute little Syngonium leaves. I think they're really adorable. They just don't necessarily always love me back. This is the Syngonium podophyllum. Um, I've been trying my luck with the macrophyllum to see how that goes instead, which is like the chia pens. It looks more like a philodendron than a syngonium, so I'm kind of into it. It's cute Brazil up here for $23.98. That would make a really nice gift for somebody, for sure, especially if they're newer to house plants. This red Maranta is looking like it's on the struggle bus. Still got some life to it. And then there's a Marble Queen. One of my favorites. For the same price, $26.98. Um, there's a nice looking ficus Audrey down here. There's like three separate plants in here. Um, and it's not looking so bad. It actually looks like it might have spider mites. hard to tell but that is what spider mite damage tends to look like um, but usually you can find like the mites themselves just like kind of crawling around on the leaves so it may have been cleaned up 
<laughs> somehow I doubt that, but even just like blasting it with the hose kind of at least gets them off of the plant. Um, we've got our assorted foliage over here. They have this variegated Peperomia scandens. This has definitely seen better days, but I don't usually find this more like silvery variegated one. So that's not a bad find. Everything else is pretty much just what we're used to seeing. More wick and grow plants along the bottom here. They're all pretty much just like pothos and ferns. The same stuff. They have this weird fern. That kind of freaks me out. I'm not gonna lie, like it's cool and creepy at the same time because it looks like bugs, but it's not. Those are not bugs. Those are just um, spores or something. Fortune's holly fern. I don't know, it's very dry. Some cute little begonias. Um, nothing really out of the ordinary. The usual suspects, they have um, this rabbit foot fern. These hanging baskets are $19.98 from Costa Farms. We do have some of the smaller ones mixed in here. It's just a very strange looking fern. Geogenanthus in the Wick and Grow containers. Just feel like everything looks really beat. Just another Dyphenbachia here. Or no, this is Aglionema. Silver Bay. Yeah, that's really it. Staghorn fern looks good. Looks nice and healthy. And big. Cute syngonium. These smaller hanging baskets are $15.98. Oh, I was like, eh, we need the tag. It's important for people to know. It literally just says beautiful home decor. So that's not helpful. This is a syngonium. They, they know that. They could at least label it syngonium. Teddy bear vine, actually looking pretty, pretty decent. Not my favorite plant in the world though. It's more of like a creeper than a trailing plant, so it can be a little bit annoying to grow. Um, nothing different over here. More floor plants. A David plant over there in his natural habitat. Some live trends. Um, this Aglionema is cute. This door is so annoying. <laughs> Every time I go near it, it's gonna open and squeak. I'm gonna try not to move. Don't move. There's a pothos hanging up there. Is that a staghorn fern? It looks really veiny. This door is so annoying. Do you hear it? <laughs> <laughs> It's always so squeaky. Every time I move. It's really sad. Sad little snake plant in there. I mean, it's a cute design. It's just not very logical. Okay, well, this door is gonna open again. We'll wait for it to open and then we'll make our moves. Okay, Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, they have a cute little Maranta. It's not variegated, but it's still cute. I think these are $12.98. Okay, $13.98. They raised the price by a dollar. Who's surprised? Um, cute little Orpheas. This Maranta is looking a little bit less sad than the other one for $22.98. There's another one back here. If I would just keep moving, the door will stay open and it won't close. Yeah, there's really nothing. There's a ficus hiding down there. But they all pretty much look like they're on their way out. Not very happy. Happy plants, but we're gonna check around the corner here, make sure we didn't miss anything. Just the raffidophoras over here. Just 
double checking, making sure there wasn't anything hidden that we missed. This is a cute little snake plant. It's looking pretty sad. A lot of these should be on clearance, but for some reason, they don't really do that here. So, yeah, that's really it. Some shoomy red peperomia. And um, that's Lowe's. <laughs> okay, fam. So that was Lowe's. And now you know why I don't go there. Um, but I had to look. I was there. So we are just munching on some Chick fil A in the car now. And then I figured, well, David figured we're going to be driving right past the Home Depot in West Hartford. So we might as well stop in there and see what they have. They also don't usually have like anything super exciting, but you never know. At least their plants aren't like half dead. They're usually decently healthy, good looking plants. So I'm going to eat my chicken nuggets and we're going to go look at some more plants. Okay. Okay. He's eating. I'm going to spare him from <laughs> being on camera while he's eating. Okay. Okay. Home Depot. We have a theme song. Home Depot. Where you Got get stuff for stuff. cheapo. Cheapo. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, plants. This poor piece is getting like burnt to a crisp. Um, but they have some cute floor plants. Look at these. That's a nice fillet entrance. It's also getting a little too much light though. Looks like the moonlight. They have some monstera. This new leaf is really pretty. For $39.98. They still have these big ones too. Some of these big chiffleras. I don't know what they're called, but they're like giant. They're really cute. Um, sad little syngonium, and then there goes the copyright music. Um, just some assorted stuff here for $5.48. Oh, they have an alocasia stingray. That's a nice find for 30 bucks probably. Yeah, $29.98. That's definitely not a bad find at all. The probability that it has spider mites though is like extraordinarily high. Um, actually, I don't see anything. So, hey babe, look at the stingray. It's cute. It's real. Um, some Adansonia here. This Calathea actually looks pretty decent. I don't know how much it is. For $19.98. Um, some cute philodendron for $19.98. They have even bigger ones over here. It's the same. It's in the same basket for the same price. I love a good Orby. Good old Orby. Do you need some ivy? <laughs> then they have these for, what does that say, $16.98? Oh my gosh, why are they so heavy? Do they just have like water in them? Yeah, they do. Poor thing. Are they all like that? Not really. Just that one is like really extra, extra to extra watered. Make a mess. Got my, I got my legs all wet. The one time I don't wear pants. Oh, that's nice. That's so good. Yeah, that's good. This is a cute little syngonium. You should. I saw a pile of dead leaves on the floor in Newington. I didn't say anything, though. <laughs> it's not just me. Oh, they have these cute little samurai sansevierias. 
Um, it does look like they got in like new succulents and stuff here, so we can check those out. You can get financing on your plants. <laughs> $24.98 for this Euphorbia Briar Patch. Pretty cool, this Evil Opuntia. Um, this is an even more evil looking. Honestly, these ones are more evil than this one because this one you can see all the spikes and you're like, okay, let me just not touch the spikes. This one is just covered in spikes. Oh, that's so good. If I it's bring a coffee this plant. To the cashier, do you think they would charge me or would they be like, do? Like, it depends on the cashier. Yeah. yeah. It also depends on the location, depends on the manager, all that stuff. But yeah, they should obviously at least reduce the price down to like a dollar. This little crusted succulent. Oh, look at this massive uh, chocolate drop. Remember how we bought one and unpotted it so it wouldn't be too big and then gave me one and then I moved in with you anyway, yes. so. <laughs> I know, I was just looking at that. This one with the leafies. Is that the one you're talking about? This one? Yeah, yeah. What is it? It's got a lot of euphoria. Um, African palm tree. Hmm. Very cool. See, I like these. That looks terrifying. Oh, yeah. Um, there are some people that just, like, pet them. And I'm just no. like, yeah, no. Because if you go the right direction, they don't stab you. So I'm still just going to, like, pass on that. It doesn't hurt. It's just itchy. Corn cob euphorbs. Nobody likes to be itchy. Those are just some more succulents. I gotta keep talking over the music. And I, if I sing my own, they <laughs> won't pick it up. These are cool. What's in here? Oh my gosh, look at this barrel cactus, boo. That's a big barrel. Um, and the Euphorbia is over there. They're only $12.98, that's a good price. It is good for a big old barrel. Oh, this poor Euphorbia broke off. It'll root back into the soil. You just have to actually put it in there. This is how I actually got my first Euphorbia. I found a broken piece at a Home Depot. And I brought it home and I rooted it up. And I still have it. Um, there's just some more cacti and stuff back there. All the assorted succulent. Okay, so I found a cacti that was like wavy, babe, and it looked like a brain. Okay. But I didn't really like any of the ones that I found, so now I'm kind of like on the hunt for another like one. Brain yeah, it looks like like wrinkles in your brain. Yeah, like these should be on sale. Did you say it looks like Pinky in the brain? No, <laughs> I said these sh should be on sale. No, before that. That looks like a brain. No, you said it's something on the oh, brain. Oh, the wrinkles on your brain. Rink not pinky in the brain. Not pinky wrinkles. in the brain, brain, brain. <laughs> brain, brain. Yeah, that's really, nothing really super exciting, you guys. We didn't look at the hanging baskets, so I'm kind of just all over the place right now. They have, they always have the same spider plants and pothos. This poor peace lily is like, somebody feed me. Um, oh, this is a Monstera, though. These are the Leafy Joy ones by the Proven Winners that I keep finding like really good stuff though. Like nice philodendrons. They have this um, Louder Bacchiana um, Alocasia. Oh, this is in need of a pole. But it's not so bad. Oh, the zebra plant we skipped over. Um, and then yeah, he's right. It's just snake, snake plants. Spider plants. But they do have the little Bonnie curly one for $19.98. I always just like take a little baby, little baby home. And um, then they have some Tritoscantia. I don't know what that is. It looks like grapevine, but I couldn't tell you because I don't know. And I'm like afraid to look because it's a lot of plant. And I don't know if there's bugs in there, but that's really, uh, everything that we have in the Home Depot. Just trying to sing over the copyright. Sing, sing a song over the copyright. Okay, I'm working here. Oh, what's that? 
Okay, well, I don't think we're supposed to touch it. No, I'm going to give it back to you. Okay, well, that's that's Home Depot. I don't think we missed anything. Begonia. Little begonia blooms are so stinking cute. Cute little begonias. And some coleus. They've got lots of coleus over there. All the pretty flowers. There's a little bee. Hi, bee. Hi, baby bee. Look at how cute you are. It won't focus on you. There you go. I love, I could watch bees all day. Look at how cute he is. It's, 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 it's. <laughs> it's just a baby. Look at all the begonia blooms. They're so pretty. Okay. I'm done for real now. <laughs> okay, fam. <laughs> the music came on. Um. That was Home Depot, and yeah, so they didn't have anything either. So I suppose we're not buying plants today. A little bit of a dud. A little bit of a little bit of a duddy dud, but um, hopefully you enjoyed it's, hanging out with us. The stingray was nice. Though. The that stingray was nice. Was nice. Um, it needs a little bit of loving, but it's definitely a good find. Um, there wasn't anything at Lowe's that I would tell you to spend your money on. But if I was gonna buy anything, it would definitely have been that alocasia stingray. Um, I've had them before, and I just like really struggle with alocasia, so we don't do that anymore. But we gotta do, uh, go, do, go. Okay. <laughs> we gotta go do some uh, grocery shopping. So that we is gotta it do for some... this video. I will pop in. <laughs> A uh, quick before I go, I'll pop in a quick little pan of what they have at Trader Joe's because they do have plants at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Um, but it's usually just like common stuff. But I will, I'll show you really quick before I end the video. But this is the last you're gonna see of our faces. So if you enjoyed hanging out with us today, you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant. Bam, you get yourself some perky perks. <laughs> it sounds choreographed really nicely. <laughs> we, we hit the timing on that, good. If not, there's a super thanks button if you guys want to super thanks me. Everything's appreciated, you know that I can't do this without you. I love you so much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness today and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Stay tuned for the Trader Joe's footage, though. Don't, don't leave yet, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>